What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overload here. We're talking about Halloween ends in this video here again today. Now I do want to start off this video by saying that I know there was supposed to be a test screening that happened for Halloween ends last night. And if reactions start coming online, I'll do another video and I'll have it up before the end of today as you're listening to this video. But what I was going to get into in this video, as you see in the thumbnail and the video title, is pertaining to Lindsay Wallace and her role in the upcoming movie. Now, apparently... And again, if you don't want any real spoilers or anything major, it doesn't matter, I guess, if it's minor or big. Again, what I'm going to talk about, I would say, is the equivalent equivalent of me telling you someone wears a pair of shoes in the movie. Apparently, when it pertains to Lindsay Wallace, she has a very minimal, a minimal presence in this movie, according to what people are saying and according to what i've been seeing online and what's been sent to me so let's just say she actually does have that minimal presence in this movie if that's true i know that is something that would be very disappointing for a lot of people who feel like legacy characters don't get the respect they deserve when they get brought back uh, i know a lot of people already feel like they were underutilizing her with halloween kills even though she gave us one of the best chase sequences out of this new trilogy so far and she was amazing when she was on screen. I just wish we found out more about her. I uh, said the same thing for Tommy. I just felt that those legacy characters were, yes, kind of thrown to the wayside. Now, and I also know people will be bothered by this because of the picture that we saw, which made a lot of people jump to the conclusions, which, again, in and of itself, I guess, isn't really the picture's fault that you jump to conclusions. So when it comes to Lindsay Wallace and her role in Halloween Ends, I'm thinking of ways we could give her a bigger presence in the movie if she were to still have a minimal role that that's fine i'm just thinking of ways she could have a bigger presence Corey cunningham is supposed to be the focus going into this movie uh it seems like he's gonna be accused of killing someone i'm gonna assume he actually didn't kill anyone it might have been an accident and he'll be the focus in the town haddonfield will be targeting him in terms of how they view him their thoughts on him and him possibly being like the next michael myers and they don't want anything to do with that so then when Corey has this little isolated incident that draws a lot of attention to him because of how they also have their trauma they're dealing with and they don't want to go through another night like that that they went through four years ago and if they were around 40 years ago they don't want to go through anything like that again now with Corey, though we don't know, we again don't know anything about him his last name is cunningham but we don't know who his parents are what if lindsey wallace is revealed to be Corey's mother we know that we haven't seen lindsey since she was a little girl she's at an appropriate age now she i would say is very much old enough to have someone that is around allison's age and is you know again the name Corey cunningham let's say Corey cunningham is her son and we could factor her into the movie like that in a prevalent way with her having conversations with Corey and visiting her son if he's in some type of institution after this accusation about him killing this boy uh stuff like that that's a another good way you can factor her into the narrative now if she's not Corey cunningham's if she's not Corey cunningham's mother and again, if she does have this minimal role, what would this minimal role be? Honestly, I have to ask you guys this question. Would you rather see her see her get killed or would you rather her come come around, deliver a few bits of dialogue that ultimately don't don't add anything to the overall plot or move anything forward with it? And then she just disappears. Or again, would you want to see her have an impactful death? Because I feel like, you know, at this stage, if she's just there to deliver a few lines and then vanishes it's like what was the point of having her because again she was in halloween kills so if you're just gonna i basically do the same thing maybe something even less in terms of screen time and how impactful her presence is in halloween ends why did you bring her back <laughs> i know that's gonna be a lot of people's minds mindset if they were to do this like why did you bring her back i mean it's not there's nothing on the surface wrong with someone having a minimal role it's just that again you're gonna you're gonna have people who are thinking to themselves why did you bring this character back again to do this uh it just doesn't it some people are not going to be feeling right about it i i honestly think a, a very good idea would be if she's revealed to be Corey cunningham's mother 
and she could have a relationship with Corey. We could see that bond. She could even give us details about Corey and who he was before all of this and how she's upset that her son is being targeted by the town. You know, we could have a whole storyline about that. Lindsay could come in and maybe reveal that she's been mentoring Allison in some capacity or how she got close with Allison over the last four years since the events of Halloween 2018 and Halloween Kills. So many different things they could do to make Lindsay more prevalent. But if it turns out she actually has a minimal role, I don't even know what, what I would rather see. If I would rather see her get killed or if I would rather see her have a few bits of dialogue that do nothing to move the, move the plot forward and then vanish. Part of me would rather see her get killed. <laughs> a part of me would rather see her get killed. So at least her presence is something impactful versus having her come in, drop some lines, and then she's gone, never to be seen again and not moving anything forward with the plot. Uh, so I think a lot of this is going to, of course, depend on what we see with the final product because we won't know how true it is that her role is minimal till the movie comes out. And again, even if she does have a minimal role, it doesn't mean that her presence on screen can't be impactful i just don't have faith that if she is in the movie and it's for a short amount of time that it's going to be anything worthwhile as to something that justifies why she was brought back having her be Corey cunningham's mother that's something that puts her right into the thick of things very well it's something that ties her right into allison something that ties her right into Lori strode who of course is allison's grandmother and it can all have something to, to talk about because again lindsay already went through something like this 40 years ago with 44 years ago now with Lori herself when it when this was a myers child going through this so she wants to be able to prevent this same thing from happening to her son that happened with michael myers all these years ago and of course she has experienced it so there's going to be a lot of other reasons she would want to become become involved in Corey's future if she ends up being Corey's mother i just think that would be a, a nice way to give her a big role in the movie but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications and never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you have me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video